These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. But what happens to them when the woman tell you, I don't need a man, Steve? I'm independent, I can do for myself. They've had to be independent because they ain't got the right man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He said the system of marriage is still good. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. I got another one for you today, but before we get into it, I ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to click the notification bell to ensure that you get my videos as soon as I release them. I'm not going to hold you. Let's get right into it. Now, before I get into it, I want you to let you know I got my man Steve Harvey here, which I get where he's trying to come from, but you're going to see. He said, what's wrong? That's what's wrong with the generation today. And this is from someone's video on TikTok um, from Conscious Canon. So there's going to be some music playing in the background. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. What's wrong with this generation today? These young boys today, what do she bring to the table? What do you mean, man? What do you bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? Yeah, it's true. And... He's right on that part when you say a woman that can make another you. And guys aren't asking women what they bring to the table to break down a woman as far as what she does, right? Of course, a woman loves that a woman can reproduce and make another kid. But the angle he's coming at is from an angle of back in the day when women were more traditional. Because no matter where we're at in the world now, women are just not more traditional. Even when you leave the country and go somewhere and women are less traditional, like even out here in the Philippines right now where I am now, you have women, they're not as traditional as they were in 1950, even here, right? It's just that guys usually would have to leave to find a woman that's more of a tradition that brings more to the table. Let me let him finish though. What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children to have a family? That's our But what happens to the when the woman tell you I don't need a man, Steve? Well, they need to what okay, if you don't, how that's working. <laughs> you know how how and he's right. He said if you don't then how that's working. But then that's the other side of it. And it's kind of like you're speaking to the men's side now which you were going against the men. And this is, this is what I say, right? You do have some young boys that are saying it's the girls, right? And they have no intention of bringing anything to the table. They're not bringing anything to the table now. And then you have women who just want to have fun or who just want everything and really don't bring anything to the table. Like my wife is sitting right there, right? She brings to the table whatever I need to bring to the table. That's why guys ask women that, right? They want a woman that's going to do what it takes to compliment them. What do you bring to the table? I bring honesty and realness, chillness. Everyone is different, and like if you find the person that suits you, then that's all that matters. It's a lot more than just providing, because providing nowadays... And you're providing, 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 you're not getting anything back from that. Say a woman's not cooking clean, but it's even more than that. Providing emotional support. I remember it was last year, right? I was going through it. I, I was breaking down, right? My lady was there. You know what she brought to the table? Emotional support. She was able to be my backbone. I didn't need any money from her. I needed her to be my backbone, Right? Men go through it. Of course, a man can't be emotional, but still, does a man need support? Yes. And does a man need a woman to be there when he needs that support? Yes. So that's what guys need. Well, let me let him finish. That's working. Who don't need no man? I'm independent. I can do for myself. Yeah, but why do you want to? Yeah, okay, you can drop a transmission. You can say and blast your house. You want to? No. If I somebody don't. could get out there and drop this transmission for you and say and blast your house, why don't you go get your nails done? I'm not trying to reduce a woman to nothing else. Be all you can be. But who don't need a man? Do you think men are important? Like for what? 
That's a lie. I don't need them to survive. You do actually need men to survive. And here's why. Everything that you see around you was built and created and maintained by men. Okay. Everything. The infrastructure in this country, every single country in the world is built, created, and by good, honest, hardworking men. I get it. He's trying to school everyone. We're bringing up what men need to bring to the table and then right right when he responded, but then what about the woman that says this? That kind of goes against the argument he was just stating. I don't think you realize that, but I get it, right? He's old school. I have an old school mentality as well, right? I don't believe in, especially where I am now, right? I would never get with a woman that works here. It would make it would make no sense. If my wife worked, we would make less money. I need my wife to be home. I need my wife to be next to me right now, right? We were home before, but when I decided to get this space where I'm at now, right now I'm at a working space. Um, She's right here next to me, but we could turn around. I could stop paying for this. And we can be home for the next, just like we were for the first seven years of me being here, right? That's what a man wants. A man wants that emotional support and that, and that need, right? That's why guys are asking women what they bring to the table. But I got another video here. This is part of the same uh, interview that he had with uh, Shannon Sharp. What man don't need a woman? I tell you what, I tell you what, try to live without them. Try to live your life without women. This ain't about lot of doubt, man. This is about women. If it wasn't for women, what would you? Aristotle Onassis said it best. He said, if women did not exist, all the money in the world would have no meaning. Dog, women is everything. They the cats me out. They the lick, man. But these young boys done forgot it because these women out here, they trying to be, they've had to be independent because they ain't got the right man. This system of marriage is still good. Okay. This system of a man taking care of a woman. Pay the bills. I'm going to be a surgeon. I will be the money paying wife. You can be a stay at home dad. I don't know. That's really how it's supposed to be. All the rest of us. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. He said the system of marriage is still good. Now, does he see what's happening in the U.S. right now? How much does your man got to make a year? Like 400000 On everything. And <laughs> so I bring everything to the table. He need to pull up his own chair to my table. Does he see? And I have to say this. It's still decent for other other races, right? But in my community and uh, where other, other races, it's decent. I, you know, I was looking at research the other day. And it shows that the Indians figured it out. Right. You look at the statistics of the household family median income. They're at the top. Filipinos are number two, actually. Filipinos are number two in household median income in the U.S. And then when it comes to marriage, uh, Indians like one percent divorce. And then the way they teach their kids, they have the highest bachelor degree rates. I remember the Philippines in the U.S. is at number four, the highest bachelor degrees. But I say that to say this is that marriage is trash right now now in other places it's a little better but i'm, I'm gonna let him finish show. and y'all need to quit tricking yourself with this new way of thinking because there's no way to think this new way of thinking ain't getting y'all damn way i'm sorry and i'm not i'm not trying to disrespect the man i think he's just a little dated he's not paying attention to what's happening in society and i get it the man is hustling the man has family feud he has talk shows he's doing five to ten things and i've i've looked he has books right he has so many hustles and the reason why he has so many hustles he said if they're if one of them get, goes out say if he loses family food he has these father other hustles and i get it i'm that way too but being that way and even because you're old and you believe in the old school way the old school way is done you have to pay attention to trends and what's happening in trends and what's happening in markets and things all around the world, right? To realize, okay, in U.S., just look at statistics. You say, wait a minute, the marriage is failing. Now, is it completely done relationships? No. You still can find someone there, but is it harder? Yes. That's why you have guys that have become passport bros, right? That's why I left. So it's just one of those situations where the man doesn't know, he doesn't understand, he doesn't see the struggles men are having. He doesn't see why these younger guys need to get up and try to get out and get away and, and find a different life sooner before later, right? I'm happy at the age of 29, I said, man, I'm not making it, right? I was, I was working a sales job and I was getting promoted. 
and I remember I went for I went to try to transfer for a job that was making around one hundred and fifty thousand because I did it before. I, I was I did direct sales before. And with direct sales, you got paid forty thousand base, and then with the commission, guys were making one hundred twenty, one hundred fifty thousand. You know where I am now. If I take that money and go where I am now, that's what seven million pesos, right? A year. So when I didn't get it, I left. I left. Started working for myself. Best thing I ever could have done. I had no idea. It let me here, right? It let me to be able to travel anywhere in the world I wanted to travel to and be free. And guys need to be more free now because it's came to that. And I get it. Steve Harvey doesn't know. He doesn't understand what guys are going through, right? He doesn't understand guys are getting blamed for things that a, a select few of guys are doing, right? He doesn't understand that 30, like, what was it? Like guys, 80% of guys get blamed for what 20% of the guys are doing. And most men are single and childless. And so you'll find guys that are 55 years old with making 100,000 a year with no kids. Why is that? And then he's saying that he doesn't understand. He's understanding the statistics because he's busy, right? So this is not to play him. This is to say, you can't speak on what you don't know. Because then you have guys like me that are going to turn and say, what are you doing, right? But anyway, guys, man, got number love for the brother, but we already know what it is. It's more to life.